This is a review of downloading and opening Tiger Line files. We're going to find the Tiger Line files on the Census Bureau's website. So we're going to navigate to the home page of the Census Bureau at www.census.gov and the Tiger Line files are found next to the Geography tab. So click on Tiger and we want the Tiger Line shape files and files so we'll click on that link and we want to download the latest Tiger Line files to go with the latest census data so we'll click on the 2010 Tiger Line Shapefiles main page link. And if you scroll down, there's a section headed Download. And under Download, let's use the web interface. So click on the web interface link. And this opens the drop down menu. From the drop down menu, let's scroll down to Census Tracks click Submit and remember we want 2010 so we want this upper drop-down menu and we'll scroll down to Washington click Submit and here let's download all counties in one state-based file click Download point it to the folder that you've created for your download. You're creating a folder with a name that is easy for you to find and it's stored in a place that is just as easy for you to find. So I've created a folder entitled Tiger Line Files 2010 once I'm in that folder I can hit save and this is going to save my zip file. Remember this is an archived data file. I'm going to have to unarchive this file before I can use it. So once the zip file is downloaded I can navigate to the folder where I downloaded it and I'm going to open that folder Now I can see the files contained in that compressed file, but I still need to extract them before I can use them. And over here on the left, in this version, I have Extract All Files. In some versions of Windows, you'll have Extract All Files along the top of the window. So click on Extract All Files. This opens a wizard for me, and it's easy to just follow through the wizard's guidance and I'm going to make sure it's going into the folder I've created so I want to check this directory line and make sure and there it is it's going into my tiger line files 2010 folder I'll accept that and click next and in this wizard I can see the extracted files if I just leave this box checked so I'll click finish and there are my extracted files ready to use in ArcMap. So I'm going to open up ArcMap and I'm going to click on the Add Data icon. I, I need to point it to the folder that I have created and so I'm going to click on the Connect to Folder icon and I created that folder in my document, so I'm going to scroll down to my Tiger Line Files folder, and I just need to highlight this. I'm not opening this, I just want to point ArcMap to this folder so that I'll be able to find the data that I want. And so there's my data file in my folder now. If I pull that down you can see more of 
the directory text and there it is it's my tiger line folder and now I can highlight the shape file now the only one of those original files that's going to show up in this particular view is the shape file you have a number of files here that are not going to be visible so the only one you're going to see here is the shape all of those other files are important don't delete any of those they all make the shape file possible when you open it in ArcMap so I've highlighted it I'm going to click add and I have one final step because I can't see my map right now I need to make sure that I check the box and there is my map of the census tracts in the state of Washington and that's how you download and open Tiger Line files.